Welcome to Madronigal, a matchless land portfolio and residential sanctuary. Arrive to a grand two-story atrium with a towering fireplace and abundant natural light. In September 2022, Oprah Winfrey decided to sell one of her large estates in Montecito, California in two separate transactions which combined for around $17 million. She purchased the property only a year earlier in 2021 for $10.5 million and has sold each parcel to friends of hers, one being Jennifer Aniston who purchased the Mediterranean main house property for almost $14.8 million. A far cry from the Mississippi wood shack Oprah grew up in, she now presides over a handful of multi-million dollar homes in her real estate portfolio. The successful billionaire continues to own the $30 million compound beside the spot she recently sold to Aniston and of course her main residence called Promised Land, which is a sprawling 66 acre estate with 20,000 square foot mansion also in Montecito. And those are just a couple of Oprah's properties. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While Oprah Winfrey lords over multiple homes, she added one to her portfolio in 2021, but offloaded it just a couple of months ago to a particularly famous friend. In early 2021, the media mogul dished out a reported $10.5 million on a multi-parcel spread in her favorite area of Montecito, California, which she bought off of New York hedge fund manager Fred Schumann and his wife. They're the ones who put together the 2.1 acre spread over many years. Recently, Montecito has become a hot spot for celebrity real estate, where the likes of famous home flippers such as Ellen DeGeneres and Adam Levine have collected fortunes from buying and selling some of the area's richest estates. We also know that Oprah herself loves Montecito due to the fact that she owns multiple properties here, including her longtime main residence, Promised Land. This property, which Oprah recently sold in two separate transactions, included a Mediterranean main mansion, two small cottages, and stunning grounds. The two transactions of her property reportedly earned Oprah a total of around $17 million. She split the estate in two and both buyers were her friends. The first sale going through in mid-August 2022, which was the half with the small cottages, selling for $2.3 million to her personal trainer and property manager, Bob Green. Then a week later or so, Oprah sold the other half, which included the main Mediterranean mansion to none other than her actress friend, Jennifer Aniston, for nearly four. $14.8 million. Sadly, there are no interior photos of the home Jen purchased from Oprah, but we do know the villa's documents show some details. Built in 1998, the home, which is reportedly a Tuscan-style farmhouse, underwent a major renovation in 2008 after the last owners purchased it. Today, the mansion is built in a bit of a U-shape and offers over 4,000 square feet of space, along with four bedrooms, three full baths, and one half bath. There is also a small detached guest house or structure, which could be an office or standalone gym on the very private one acre property, which is also shrouded by plenty of woods and foliage. Jen's new estate further boasts grassy lawns, manicured gardens, entertaining terraces, mature oak trees, and a driveway and motor court with room for 15 cars or more. This long driveway is gated for more privacy while the home itself can't be seen from the street. Finally, the home also has the bonus of panorama ceramic ocean and mountain views, according to an old listing material for the property. Oprah still owns many other homes, including the massive estate next door to this one, which is a $30 million compound purchased in 2012. Not to mention her main residence, the 66 acre promised land is also in Montecito. So let's take a look at that one next. Way back in 2001, Oprah was invited to a party at a dreamy estate in the picture perfect neighborhood of Montecito near Santa Barbara and the rest was 
history. She fell in love with the peaceful 42 acre property so much that she persuaded the owners, Robert and Marlene Velos, to sell the place even though it wasn't on the market. Oprah wrote up a check for about $52 million and began making this place, now called the Promised Land, her very own. She named the property this to symbolize her journey from rags to riches, as it's taken from a biblical reference for an African American woman living in paradise whose ancestors were slaves. Oprah's home is decidedly paradise, estimated to be worth about a hundred million dollars these days after several additions. The main mansion was built in 1912 originally, but underwent extensive renovations to make it its current size of 23,000 square feet and to suit Oprah's specific tastes. There are more than six beds and 14 baths throughout, as well as 10 cozy fireplaces. While Oprah bought the main property back in 2001, later in 2016, she purchased a piece of land known as Seamare Farm, spanning over 23 acres directly beside it for over $28 million. This additional property boasts a 5,000 square foot ranch style home, a pool, horse stables, caretaker cabin, equestrian ring, and even orchards. Furthermore, Oprah bought another 44 acre preserve on the other side of her property to get the ultimate privacy. These days, the promised land spans over 70 acres near the beaches and the mountains. Oprah's main home is designed in a classic Neo Georgian style, and the main entryway has a winding staircase and high ceilings, personalized with photos of loved ones so the star can see them upon first walking into her house. In fact, as her forever home, promised land is where Oprah and her long term term partner, Stedman Graham, loved to spend time, and they have decorated the place full of mementos, books, and artwork. The home has been thoughtfully put together over the years, and Oprah runs her business empire from the property too. When she's unwinding, sometimes she even posts pics hanging with her dogs here on Instagram. The kitchen is the heart of Oprah's mansion, and it's a spot where she and her loved ones can get together and kick back. The TV icon had the fireplace and pizza oven removed to create more space here, but left the rest as it was. Altogether, her mansion boasts several living rooms, a library, kitchen, two movie theaters, an office, and a wine cellar. Also on Oprah's property, she has a fully redecorated and elegant guest house as well as a tea house. Her tea house is set right in the middle of the garden, and it was originally built as a place to cut flowers, but she changed her mind and made it a space for herself. She also also said she comes to the tea house to read, meditate, and enjoy a cup of tea. The grounds of Oprah's mansion are truly a sanctuary with perfectly manicured lawns, gardens with roses and lilies, and amazing views of the ocean and mountaintops. On one of the combined properties, Oprah also has a large pool surrounded by palm trees, a gorgeous patio, and nearby a koi pond, all creating the perfect space to entertain or relax. In 2019, Oprah also reportedly bought another home in Montecito off of actor Jeff Bridges. This property spans four acres and is next to her main estate, costing her $6.9 million. Bridges apparently spent a fortune remodeling the Spanish revival style, so it was a surprise he didn't hike up the price to sell it to Oprah, considering he bought it for basically the same price in 2014. Either way, this home was tastefully restored, offering common rooms like a living area with white walls, vaulted wood ceilings, large windows, and a cozy fireplace. The rustic yet minimalistic style continues in the kitchen where there's a wooden ceiling with skylights, custom wood cabinets to match, and a marble topped island. Over in the master suite, there are exposed beams, bay windows, and French doors out to the yard, along with highlights like a massive walk-in closet, an ensuite with soaking tub, and more. Out on the grounds of this property, you'll find a swimming pool and spa area, a pool house, a carriage house that's been transformed into an art studio, as well as a red brick terrace to lounge or entertain. Prior to securing this place, in 2018, Oprah decided to purchase another peaceful and picturesque property, this one not in Montecito. Tucked between Seattle and Vancouver, there are the San Juan Islands, made up of four main islands accessible by Washington State ferries. One of these is Orcas Island, where Oprah snagged a 43-acre compound called the Madron Eagle Estate. Oprah's getaway here is completely private with two waterfront pieces of land and 3,000 feet of shoreline. It cost her $8.2 million for this expansive property, and inside the residence measures in at over 7,300 square feet with four beds, three full baths, and two half baths. 
The main residence is three floors and made with stone accents and natural woods used throughout, which create the all-American luxury cabin feel. As you enter the home, you're greeted by a massive hanging art piece that frames the entryway and sets the stage for what's to come. The main level is home to the kitchen with pizza oven and skylights, living room, dining area, and bedrooms. Oprah's master suite features a stone wall with wood accents and a marble spa-like ensuite. There's also a library corner in the home with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, which I'm sure is a feature book-loving Oprah takes advantage of. Also on the lower level, there's a home office complex, wine cellar, and a tasting room. A custom-built staircase leads to the upper level where there's a huge bonus room or family room, as well as a fully stocked games room. Outside is as lush as you might expect with native trees and plants manicured perfectly. Stone paths weave through the gardens, which completes the peaceful, earthy landscape. And that's not all. Of course, Oprah also needs room for her traveling entourage, which the gallery house is perfect for. The contemporary guest house in the property is just under 3,000 square feet and has four beds and three baths, all set on a high cliff perched above a private beach. Other features on her Orca's Island Island property include a tea house underneath the trees and overlooking the water, a huge barn with a woodworking studio up top, and a gym and yoga studio on the lower level. Elsewhere, there's a sauna, garden, pond and stream, private hiking trails, and a private beach. While these are not all of the stunning properties that Oprah Winfrey owns, it definitely gives you a taste of this billionaire's real estate portfolio. For today though, that'll bring this house tour to an end. But before we go, answer me this. If you already had a mega main house in your home state, where would you get your first vacation property if you could choose to get one anywhere? In the mountains, or on the beach, or somewhere else? Let me know your dream getaway location in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.